This may look like a sweat at any junction in Trinidad and Tobago or the wider Caribbean, but this is an organized initiative for the youth of Springtree's Upper 7th Avenue Malik. The man behind the day's activities is former Caledonia AIA and Police FC midfielder Andy Roberts, and his agenda is much wider than just a sweat. Basically, it's all about the youths. You know, you're trying to hear why born and grow, play right on this ground before it was concrete. It was dirt, so it's all about getting back to the community now. And I start right here on the block where that football game into, into the police service, right? And it's an avenue for the youths, you know, but it's not all about the football too, you know. It's all about them coming out and learning how to do the right things, all, all respect, you know, and learning a trade. So after football here, they must be able to learn a trade. The man they call Bali reflected on the heydays of Malik, which produced a bevy of sporting personalities. Long time Malik name used to call in a real positive way, you know. We had icons pass through here, you know, men like Stokely Mason, play right on his ground, Otis Whitley, play right on his ground. Kino Mason in cricket, you know, we are icons. So it's not about me alone. I want the villagers to, to come on board with me and let me make Malik where it was before. Malik resident Daniel Joseph is proud of his village and hope to help change the negative stereotyping. The young people in this community they have real skill, real love, we are, we are all about unity up here. You know, Malik is love and MIL to the world. Despite all the negativity and thing, we know what is be going on up here. Remember, we live in up here and people can just say we're on the outside. Jaheem Philip agrees with his neighbor. Uh, Malik is not really a bad place now. Uh, Malik is a very calm and collective place. Only people just think Malik is a bad place. The former police FC assistant coach is confident. He has part of the solution. So after the football, where they're having fun, I want them to take up a tool and learn a trade. If the necessary authorities could listen to this and, and come on board with this because the youths need to learn a trade. A most logical start. Wayne Cunningham, Tuesday Sport.